So welcome back to the Small Luxury Lifestyle. Um, I'm Olive and in today's video, I'm going to take you shopping with me. Uh, we're going to go shopping for a washer dryer. So the one thing I detested the most um, living in an RV is not having my own washer and dryer. Uh, both places that we stay at, they do have a laundromat, but at one, uh, one location, the laundromat is disgustingly dirty. Can't stand using it. So I'd always have to drive to drive into town and use another one. And in the other um, location, the washer, the, the, the laundry room is clean, but the washer dryers are full of nasty fur. I swear every second person has a dog or a cat. And I think they wash their bedding in the laundry, in the washers and leave all the hair there. So there's nothing more disgusting than finishing your wash and finding dog hair or cat hair, especially on your underwear. I can't have that on my panties. It's just nasty. I just can't do it. So, um, I decided, uh, I decided that I had to have my own, my own washer dryer. So I'm going to take you shopping with me and, uh, we'll check out, uh, what's available and, um, I will buy something and, uh, let you see what that is. All right, let's go. Hi, so right now I'm at Canadian Appliance Source, uh, just checking out the um, uh, washer dryers. So I decided that this year for my birthday, Christmas, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, every day, Halloween gift, um, it's going to be a washer dryer. I absolutely detest laundromats. Everybody seems to have a dog or a cat and they leave their nasty hairs all over the washer. So anyways, I'm at the store just trying to find which kind of uh, machine I want to get. Um, see if I can switch this around. I don't know. So there is so many choices here. Um, so here's, uh, what is this one? This is Whirlpool. Everybody knows the Whirlpool. I'm not having that. That is not pretty. And it's too tall for my trailer. Um, this one here is Blomberg. I've not heard of this brand before. Um, stackable. Um, and over here we have all the big boys. So we have Samsung. We have GE. Bosch. And what is this? Electrolux and also Gorenchi. Um, I've not heard of that brand before. Obviously something new, well new to me. And I think I saw some over here. Okay, so these are for your houses because these are not fitting in anybody's trailer. Uh, the Maytag, LG, Whirlpool, and Samsung. Okay, so this is day two of my washer dryer combo shopping. Uh, today we are going to Lowe's. Let's see what they got. Welcome to Lowe's. Ooh, they already have the summer stuff out. Oh my God. So this is going to be a much longer video than I thought because there's lots of shiny objects to look at. Oh my gosh, look at it all. Okay, so seriously, I'm going to have to come back and really soak this all up. But for now, we're supposed to be washing machine shopping. Oh, I see so many things that I want. Ooh, do I want to go blue this year? Hmm. So nice. Okay. Let's go find the washing machines. Oh, they're right here. Okay, so I'm at Lowe's and I found uh, a couple of stackable washer dryers um i will switch this around so here i am at lowe's and i found two stackable units so they have the ge and the bosch uh the ge um unit the dryer is the vented one so like your regular 
uh, dryer at home where you have to vent it to outside. And the Bosch, however, use, the dryer uses the condensation uh, technology. So there is no hose that you um, vent to the outside. What it does is it, it, uh, it collects the moist air and condenses it to uh, liquid and pumps that liquid out. So these are the two selections that they have here. So apart from the stackables, Lowe's also carries like a, like a, um, a few brands of combo units. They do have the LG and hair. However, they don't have them on display, so I can't even show you. But um, those are two other options that you have, that they have. Okay, now we're heading to Home Depot. Let's keep our fingers crossed that they have a washer dryer combo unit in here. Wish us luck. Okay, so we're at Home Depot and they do have a few more choices than what you can find at Lowe's. So I'll just show you what they have. Okay, so their choices of the stackables are, again, the Bosch. And then we have the LG. And over here we have the GE. So both the Bosch and the LG units are, uh, the dryers are condensation drying. So there's no, duct or, no ducting with these ones. And um, the GE is regular, you know, um, regular type of dryer. And then over here, let's take a little walk. There is one um, combo unit. So I can at least show you that one. Um, so we have it right over here. So it's the LG. So here we have the, here we have the LG washer dryer combo. And of course this one is uh, ventless. This is a 27 inch. They also have the 24, but not on, not on um, uh, display right now. You see the pricing for the 27 inch is almost 2000 Canadian. And I believe I saw online the, the smaller size, the 24 inch is about another thousand dollars more. No, it's about 2700. So um, size does matter. Okay, but that's all I found here. Um, I'll, uh, I don't know, let's just keep looking. Okay guys, we finally picked a washing machine and then this happens. I just deleted all the footage where we were at the Canadian appliance store where I actually purchased the, um, my washing machine. I deleted all the footage of the washing machine that we chose where the salesperson was going all over all the specs and how the washing machine uh, works. And yeah, I deleted it. Great. Now I have to try to remember what he I said. I've used it a few times, so I think I'll be able to explain uh, some things about it. Um, the only footage I have of that is uh, pictures where Frenchie was trying to put it into my car. Actually, he got it in, but that's all I have. So here it is. This is the one that we purchased. It is the hair combination front load washer and ventless dryer. Uh, the model number is the HLC1700AXS. S is for silver. They also have a white one. Um, and the reason I wanted a, a combo unit is that like over the stackable ones is that I have this unit right here with the cupboards. I didn't want to lose that. So if I had stackables, like this is where my wash, um, the laundry hookups are, I would have had to get rid of all that. And I didn't want to do that. And I had, I got the 24 inch hair only comes in 24 inch. I got the 24 inch as opposed to a, a 27, which LG has the 24 and the 27 inch um, combo washer dryer. I got the 24 because I didn't want to have to lose that counter space. I would have had to take that whole part out because it would have been too wide. And you can see the way I have it in here, the space between the walls are not equal because I wanted this extra space here so that I could slide my hand in and get to the 
don't know if I could show you in here. Get to the plug. No, it's a little dark. But anyways, get to the plug back there and the water shut off. So I have it off centered. <clears throat> okay. So when you're filling your washer, you have to keep a couple things in mind. So um, if you're planning on just running one of the preset um, programs, so you're going to let it wash and then the dryer, uh, the dryer kicks in. If you're going to do it that way, you have to remember that the dryer can only be half full. So do not fill this drum more than halfway. Um, so I've gotten there some underwear. I've got two tops tracksuit, uh, PJs, what else? Um, I think I could also fit. Okay, so actually, you know what? If I was going to uh, do the wash and have the, um, the whole cycle run, the wash and the dry, I would stop there. If I'm going to do the wash and then let it stop and take things out and um, and then set the dry the dry cycle then I can actually put more in so um, just like the same just like your washer at home and your dryer so when you're washing you want about three quarters of it full and like no more than that um, and then when you're drying you don't want your dryer more than half full but because the I only have the one drum we have to treat this as if it's the dryer so if you're gonna be if you're gonna uh, run the dryer you only need you can only put it half full and close okay so that's if I wasn't gonna use the run the dry cycle but I am gonna run the dry cycle so I'll take a few items out okay so that's about half full and let's make sure nothing's in the door just like you would at home okay so now that we have are closed in. I'm going to show you some of the settings. Okay, so on here, there's a bunch of settings. Uh, this washing machine has about seven settings that are already um, programmed. Um, so we have the quick, delicates, permanent press, bulky, sorry, normal, bulky, heavy duty, and whites. As you can see, as I'm switching through, the time's changing and the, the uh, selections on here are changing. Um, so normally what I do, I wash with either normal or permanent press. It takes about the same amount of time. Um, so over here, you'll see these buttons. So we have wash temperature, speed spin, the soil level, and the dry level. So everything that's flashing, those are the default selections for those um, uh, these I these I uh, items. So for the wash temperature, it goes from hot to tap cold. I don't have hot water set up for the washing machine. I just have the cold water um, connected. I don't have any hot water going to the washer. So I will always put it to tap cold. I wash in cold water anyways. Uh, the spin seed spin speed. You saw you saw when I changed the tap. Uh, the uh, water temperature, it changed the spin speed. See, it was at warm. Actually, it's still the same. Okay, so it's high. Soil level, you can change that uh, from extra light to extra heavy. Um, I'm leaving it at normal. And the dry level, you'll see that it's flashing off. So the default for dry on this, on this uh, program is off. Um, but you see that the the more normal and less is actually showing, which means that you can select that. If you go to delicates, there's nothing on dry level because if you're using delicates, it works best if you don't let it try to, well, it's not gonna dry. It's not gonna, the dry program is not gonna turn on. With delicates, you wanna take them out and hang them up. These are items that you don't want to actually send through heated uh, dry cycle. Okay, so you have two choices when it comes to um, using this dryer this uh washing machine so you can use it as the combo washer dryer so in that case you they say for this uh cycle i would use the dryer i would set the dryer up 
Um, so it would wash for an hour and then dry for two hours, almost two hours. Um, so you're basically, basically going to set it and forget it. Put your clothes in, uh, set up your cycle, uh, turn it, press start, walk away, come back in about three hours and your clothes are dry. Just take it out and fold it. Uh, the other way you can use it is like for, I was mentioning before, not using the dry, let's just say on this normal cycle, I would choose to not have the dry cycle on. So in this, I would let it wash for an hour. The reason I would do it this way is let's say I have clothes, I'm doing clothes that I don't want it to dry for two hours. The lowest on the normal, the lowest um, amount of time that you can set the dryer for was two hours. Maybe I don't want them to dry for two hours. I did a load the other day of hubby's t-shirts um, and he had some brand new t-shirts in the in that load um and he's always worried that his shirts are gonna shrink and apparently he said i've already shrunk some of them so i did it this way i i let it go through the normal wash and let it stop and then i came in and i set the time dry because i didn't want two hours i want to less so i put on time dry this will use heat you have auto dry it's going to run for three hours and 20 minutes i'm not i don't need it that dry or you have time dry with no heat both the time dry will start at 30 minutes and then you press either the up or down cycle and it will um, go up in intervals of 10 minutes. So I did it for an hour and that load came out perfect. His t-shirts were not shrunken and he's pretty impressed actually. So now I know that I will no longer be getting in trouble for shrinking his t-shirts. But yeah, so we're going to do a wash I'm actually gonna do it separate like I did the last time I'm going to set this back to tap cold leave that on high spin normal actually it's not really that dirty and then once out oh, so now it just went down to 51 minutes and once it's finished washing I'm gonna leave the dry off once it's finished washing I'll come in and I'm going to use a time dry I'm probably going to dry it for about 50 minutes. These things are not going to take that long. All right. So next thing we need to do is put our soap in. We have uh, three areas where you can put um, product. I'm just going to let this hang here and drain. Um, this would be for your pre-wash, um, this is fabric softener, and the soap, obviously. If you're going to use the pre-wash, you cannot use liquid, so you're going to have to use powder. If you use liquid, um, if you use liquid in here and here at the same time, during the pre-wash, it's going to dump all the liquid into the pre-wash, and then for your wash, you'll have nothing. So if you're going to use pre-wash, you do have to use powdered uh, product. All right. You can see it's pretty quiet. Um, right now it's just filling with water. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, I've used it about six times and I'm really happy with it. Just in case you want to get an idea of what the spin cycle was like, this is the spin between the wash and the rinse. So we're at we've got 29 more minutes to go on the wash cycle. Okay, so this one, this spin cycle, you can tell, is a little bit louder and a heck of a lot stronger. So this is going to spin all excess liquid out of the clothes. So we got seven more minutes to go.
So like I mentioned before, I was putting the dryer, I put the dryer at 50 minutes. Um, the clothes were not quite dry, they were a tiny bit damp. Um, so I guess the, uh, the sweatsuit and the long sleeve t-shirts, they're uh, I guess a thicker cotton. But anyways, they did not dry in 50 minutes. I need to put the dryer back on. And like I mentioned, the, dry, the time to dry, the lowest amount of time I can set it for is 30 minutes. So I had to put it back in for another 30 minutes. But for sure, I know this time it's going to be dry. So um, uh, note to self, with these types of clothing, 50 minutes is not going to be long enough. But lesson learned. Okay, so while the wash is um, going, I wanted to kind of explain how the condenser, um, the condenser drying system works. So this little diagram, so in this, the circle represents the dryer the the drum okay so that's where your clothes are um, this will be the hose leading to the cold water faucet so how this works is warm air comes into the water into the the unit like just from the the room so we have like warm dry air it goes through this uh, little heater so it's got like heating coils it'll go through the heater come out as hot dry air and gets introduced to the clothes so as the clothes are spinning they're getting blasted with some hot dry air so what that does is it'll start evaporating the moisture that's in the clothing um, that and then um, creates like moist hot air so that um, hot damp air comes into the um, condenser unit so you have hot damp air going up to the condenser this uh, the cold water is coming down hitting the condenser so this is cold so as the hot air hits the condenser it the air cools and it releases the moisture that moisture goes out through um, another drain hose to the drain okay and then some of that air plus the air that is pulling from the um, the room again just goes through the cycle again so you have the warm dry air hitting the heater getting warmed up on these heating coils goes through hits the clothes as the clothes are tumbling evaporates some of the moisture the moist hot air comes through goes up to the condenser gets cooled um, turns into liquid and goes out the drain and that's basically how it works a couple things you have to make sure is that the it has that unit needs cold water so cold water has to be supplied to the unit for the drying system to work failure to do so so if you have warm water um, hit, uh, going into the system it's going to result in poor drying performance and it could potentially damage the dryer components so make sure that it is cold water that is um, supplying this unit and that's how the condenser works so i hope that makes sense okay so i hope this video was helpful um, so basically to sum it up, if you are in the market for a combination washer dryer, definitely check out the hair. Uh, keep in mind, no matter which brand you do buy, for the dryer to work properly, make sure that you have cold water going to the unit and make sure you don't fill the, fill the drum more than halfway with clothes. Okay. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but hair is... Hair does own GE uh, uh, General Electric appliances. So yeah, check them out um, if you haven't decided what to buy. And yeah, I hope this was helpful and I hope my description of how the condensing um, unit works. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.